Thanksgiving travel is up this year after the pandemic kept many people home. It's been a while since we've seen them. We're really excited to see them again. AAA says four and a half million Americans will fly to their destinations, an increase of nearly 8% over last Thanksgiving. We are seeing a lot of people who put off a trip maybe for a year or two or more as a result of the pandemic now getting back out there, seeing loved ones they haven't seen in a while, taking a trip that they had, uh, they had deferred. That's putting pressure on airlines to keep up with demand and after widespread flight cancellations this summer, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says the government is keeping a close eye on how they respond. The Department of Transportation recently helped customers get $600 million in refunds for tickets that were canceled or severely modified. The basic message is that airlines should treat passengers well so that we don't have to get involved in the first place. Buttigieg says airline performance has improved in recent months with less than 1% of flights canceled on recent busy travel days. But airlines still face challenges such as staffing shortages as well as bad weather. Just again, I want to urge everybody to, to be safe, uh, to be patient, and to enjoy this, uh, this great holiday season. Travelers we spoke with at Washington's Reagan National Airport say it's been smooth sailing so far. We had been driving uh, as opposed to flying, so the fact that we're flying this time and it's this simple, we're really excited about that. Everything went back to normal as everyone anticipated, and people, you know, just going to see their families might be a little bit of a bulk up, but not that bad. Many are just thankful to be with loved ones for the holidays. We're grateful to see family. We're grateful that they're here um, and we were able to come visit them and, and go back to a you know, house and just be, be able to celebrate Thanksgiving. In Washington, Cassie Simeon, Spectrum News.